Hello ladies and gentlemen, and we are pleased to welcome you to the second holiday championships at MH Racing. This year we are hosting eight marble teams as they duke it out in several events for victory. The seats are packed in the arena and the crowd is going wild. Many groups that came today are showing lots of dedication to their teams. As always, host Alex B is the official play-by-play -play commentator for this championship. And here are your eight teams competing for the win. Special shout out to our dedicated fan base for giving the names for each group. Our first event is the Funnel Tournament, where two teams of four battle it out on our Funnel Racetrack. Teams will get points depending on how each marble finishes, and the team with the most points moves on to the next round. In all of our events, the top three teams earn victory points, which are crucial to succeeding in the championship. And let's get our first match underway. We got Christmas Nighters versus Rudolph Rollers. And both teams are off going down that first funnel. And round and around they go. And it looks like Christmas Nighters has the inside corner. No, it's Rudolph Rollers. And all marbles are slowly making it down to the second funnel now. Christmas Nighters still stuck up there. Keep in mind that unlike in our other races, all four marbles have to work together if they want to move on. And it looks like now Rudolph Rollers has a slight advantage. And two Rudolph Rollers are able to get down first with Christmas Nighters breaking out one of them. Christmas Nighters still seems to be struggling, but they still have a chance. And all marbles now make it down to the last funnel. We have two Christmas Nighters and two Rudolph Rollers. This is quite equal match here, folks. And who's it going to be? Who's going to take that inside corner? And it looks like Christmas Nighters has the lead, but Rudolph Rollers cuts them at the last second, and they get the first eight points. And all marbles are now making their way down the maze. Rudolph Rollers coming in down fourth. And they're also going to get a 5th place spot as well. Christmas Nighters coming in down as 6th. And it looks like Christmas Nighters will be getting last place with the last marble receiving only 1 point. And there he goes. Now let's add up the points to see who will be moving on. And Rudolph Rollers will be moving on to the semis, finishing with a total of 19 points. Christmas Nighters finished with 17 points and will be the first ones eliminated. Moving on to our second match now, we have Icy Blasters versus the Snow Troopers. All eight marbles are now off, battling it down on funnel number one. And it looks like Icy Blasters is the first marble to go down funnel number two. And just like that, all marbles battling it out in the second funnel. The Snow Troopers now taking the lead. They're in a pretty good lead with all four marbles now in that funnel. Blaster's still stuck, but he makes his way down. And another trooper clears the funnel. Snow troopers still have a good edge into that second last funnel. Unfortunately for the blasters, it seems like one marble is always struggling to catch up. And troopers make it down to that final stretch. But the blasters take over. Ooh, the snow troopers are now at risk. And it looks like the blaster now takes the inside corner. Is he going to take it? Yes, he does. He takes snow troopers lead and he comes in at first. But one of the troopers was able to come in at second. Let's see if this will affect our victory. Snow Troopers take 4th and 5th, with Icy Blasters coming at 6th. And Icy Blasters beat Snow Troopers to the punch, and it looks like Troopers will get last place. And what a comeback! Icy Blasters comes in with 19 points, and will be moving on to the next round. Snow Troopers is unfortunately eliminated from the tournament. And with match 3, we now have Superstars versus Mistletoe Maniacs. This will be a good race. All marbles now battling it out in funnel number one. Closer and closer. Who's it going to be? It's Superstars. Still a tight battle though, approaching funnel number two. And both teams had a tight rivalry there, but Mistletoe Maniacs now take the lead. One of the Superstars is struggling to catch up to the competition. And that's certainly not good for them. Superstars getting the lead down into the second last funnel. But with that struggling competitor, I'm not too sure if they're going to be able to win this one. They still take the lead into that last funnel. Two marbles now making their way down. And all the Mistletoe Maniacs are still stuck up there. Ooh, and the Superstar beats three Mistletoe Maniacs. Wait, something's not right here. There's only three Superstars. I'm not too sure what happened to the other one. This is certainly not looking good for the team. If a marble on that team does fail to complete the track, they will be getting a negative one point penalty. Mistletoe Maniacs coming in at 4th, and we'll also be taking 5th as well, Superstar coming down at 6th, 
And unfortunately, it looks like one of the superstars got stuck further up on the track. And with Mistletoe Maniacs coming in at 7th, unfortunately, Superstars will be getting a 1-point penalty, which will result in the win for Mistletoe Maniacs. We have one more race in the first round. Let's see who's going to take that final spot. We got the Salty Scroogers versus the Reindeer Rampage. And both teams are off, battling it out in final number 1. And round and round they go. Looks like Salty Scrooges has the lead. Is he going to take it? Yes, they are. Salty Scrooges gets a good advantage out into final number 2. And that leaves Reindeer Rampage stuck on top. Not for that long though, he makes a nice hit on one of the Scrooges. Going down into funnel number 3 now, it looks like Reindeer Rampage has all 4 marbles in that funnel, now with the advantage. But Salty Scrooges still gets the lead. This is going to be a tight one folks, I'm not too sure who's going to win this. Scrooges are still trying to secure that lead, and yes they do into that final stretch. But anything could still happen from now to the finish line. Both teams just skimming the edge down that finish line. It looks like Scrooges, yes, Scrooges will be first down and will be getting that 8 point lead. And Salty Scrooges takes the top 3, no the top 4 spots. And looks like the Scrooges will be getting a definite win here. Unfortunately, Randy Rampage has to take the last 4 spots. You can tell they're certainly less enthusiastic now. But that marble does have to complete the track or else they'll be getting a negative one point penalty. And there he goes down the maze and he finishes the track. And Salty Scrooges gets the obvious win here with 26 points. Reindeer Rampage finishing with 10. Now moving on to the semifinals of the tournament. Only four teams remain. Let's see who will be battling for the gold and who will be battling for third place. Here we go, the first round of the semifinals, we have Icy Blasters versus the Rudolph Rollers. Round and round they go, looks like Rudolph has the slight edge, yes they do, making it first down follow number one. Our Mumbles now making the way down follow number two, it's a one on one up there with bo against both teams, but Rudolph Rollers takes the win. And it's a tight rivalry down between Icy Blasters and Rollers. And all four of the rollers now make their way down that funnel. And the rollers take the lead in the second last funnel. And they're having a pretty good advantage here with all four once again taking that funnel. And Rudolph Rollers once again gets that edge into the final stretch. Let's see if they'll be able to take the win here. And it looks like they have good odds. All four Icy Blasters need to work hard if they want this win. And it looks like they're certainly trying here, but unfortunately, I think it might be too late. I'm not too sure. Oh! Icy Blasters steals second place from Rudolph Rollers. And then we have an Icy Blaster coming down. Ooh, but Rudolph Rollers steals the lead once again. And despite the mishap, Rudolph Rollers were able to secure their win with Icy Blasters coming in down at fourth. Although I'm certain the Rollers have this win, let's once again tally up the points. And certainly, yes, they do with a 10 point lead, finishing with 23 points. And moving on to our second semi final match, we have the Salty Scrooges facing the Mistletoe Maniacs. Let's see who will take it. And both teams are off once again down in that first funnel. Who's going to take the first lead? It's Mistletoe Maniacs, with Salty Scrooges coming in at a very close behind. And just like that, all four marbles making their way down to that second and third funnel as well. Tight battles between Salty Scrooges and Mistletoe Maniacs. And Scrooges are still able to hold on to the lead despite pressure from the other team. And we're now left with a 1 on 1 battle further up top. And Mistletoe Maniacs takes the lead further down. But it's still a tight rivalry. Around and around they go. It looks like we're going to be facing a one-on-one -on -one between the two leaders between each team. Ooh, and it's the Scrooges that will be taking the first point. Let's see how the Maniacs do. They take second and third, receiving seven and six points respectively. Scrooges coming down fourth, Mistletoe Maniacs coming down fifth. And the last Mistletoe will be taking sixth, and two of the remaining Scrooges are still battling it up there. And finally, the third Scrooge comes by. Now we just have to wait for the last one. 
He's taking a sweet time here. And finally, he makes his way down that maze and finishes with a quick one point. And Mistletoe Maniacs takes the win with 20 points and will be moving on to the finals. And that leads us with our third place match. We have the Losers, Icy Blasters versus Salty Scrooges. Let's see if the Scrooges will be able to take the revenge here. Round and round they go. Who's going to take it? It's Icy Blasters taking the lead first down into funnel number two. And that leaves three Scrooges battling it up in the first funnel. Definitely not a good start for the team. They better not let their saltiness get in the way. And the Blaster beats the three Scrooges further up. I see Blaster still has a good advantage here. Ooh, and they keep the lead. But one of the Scrooges was able to catch up to the leader. Ooh, the Scrooges make a nice hit on the Blasters, giving him an early start on the final stretch. Scrooge further up is battling against all four Icy Blasters. Despite the Scrooge's good lead, let's see how cooperative the other team members are. And he's trying to secure an 8 point advantage. Is he going to do it? Ooh, some pressure from Blasters, but yes he is. And he comes in with 8 points for the Scrooge's. Icy Blasters coming in down 2nd. Another one coming down 3rd and 4th. Unfortunately, I don't think 8 points will be enough to beat this team. And the remaining three Salty Scrooges come in down sixth. Jeez, they're taking their sweet time again. What's with these guys? Coming down at seventh. And finally, the last remaining Scrooge comes down, finishing with eighth. And unfortunately, despite that eight-point advantage, the Icy Blasters take the lead with 22 points and will be finishing third place. And here we go, folks, the big one. We have Mistletoe Maniacs versus Rudolph Rollers. A classic red and green matchup. Around and around that first funnel. And both teams are now battling for that lead. And Mistletoe Maniacs get a secure lead with three marbles taking it. And the last remaining Maniac makes his way down funnel number two. There's certain, Rudolph Rollers are certainly not giving up though. And all marbles are now making their way down that third funnel now with two Rudolph Rollers still stuck. But they're able to get their head in the game. Ooh, one of the rollers almost beat out the entire Mistletoe team. Certainly giving them a run for their money. And who's going to be first on the final stretch? It's Mistletoe Maniacs. Two of the marbles on that team have been performing pretty well. The rollers get their first two marbles in the last melon. And the rollers are able to beat the last Maniac down into the final stretch. But let's see, is it enough? Rudolph Rollers coming down at first. Mistletoe Maniacs at second. They'll also be taking 3rd and 4th, getting another 7, 6, and 5 points respectively. Rudolph Rollers taking 5th and 6th, 7th as well. And Mistletoe Maniacs will be taking 8th. Ooh, this is going to be a tight one, folks. Let's see who's it going to be. Ooh, it's a tight one for sure, but Mistletoe Maniacs leads by 19 points. And they'll be taking the victory in our first event of the Marble Holiday Championships. Congratulations to our top three marbles. Mistletoe Maniacs will be earning three victory points. After a thrilling final tournament, we now turn our attention to event two of the Marble Holiday Championships. Two teams race side by side on the MH Raceway, and the winner of each race moves on to the next round. It's a single elimination tournament, so constant wins are key to earning this event's victory points. As always, Alex B is your host for this year's Holiday Championships and is proud to introduce today's lineups. Round 1 will start with Mistletoe vs Snow Troops and will end with Reindeer vs Ice. Let's not waste any time and begin the festivities with match number 1. We have Mistletoe Maniacs vs Snow Troopers. Let's see who's going to take it. And they're off. It's a tight one. Who's it going to be? And it's the Snow Troopers that takes the win from lane 2. And Snow Troopers will be our first team moving on after a thrilling first race finish. Here we go folks, we're now down to match 2. We got the Christmas Nighters versus Rudolph Rollers. These two teams faced each other in our last event. Let's see if we'll get the same results. And we're off once again, looks like Rudolph has a lead and yes, they'll take it. They'll take the win and we'll be moving on. Let's take a look at that replay. 
And Rudolph Roller seemed to have dominated the race from start to finish. Christmas Nighters, unfortunately, didn't really have that much of a chance. It looked like, though, when that team one marble was certainly leading the pack. It doesn't matter how the other three marbles do. As long as the leader finishes first, the entire team moves on. Now moving on to match three, we have Salty Scroogers versus Superstars. Let's see who's going to take it. It's a tight one, and the Salty Scrooges will take it, beating out the Superstars in lane 5. The Salty Scrooges are definitely infamous for their salty attitude, and it seemed to have paid off in today's race. It was another tight finish though between the two teams, but the Scrooges will be moving on to round number 2. And here we go with our final match of round 1. We have Reindeer Rampage versus Icy Blasters. Let's see who's going to take the win. And the gates release, they're off. And the Icy Blasters have a lead and they'll take it all the way down lane number two. And looking back at the replay, the Icy Blasters had a good start and they were able to hold on to it all the way to the end. And the Icy Blasters are our final team moving on to the semifinals. And here we go, folks. Here are the current standings. Let's see who will be moving on to the finals and who will be fighting for third place. And let's get our semifinals underway. We got Rudolph Rollers versus Snow Troopers in our first matchup. And they're off. And the Snow Troopers look to have a slight lead. And yes, they do. They take it all the way down to the finish line. And looking at back that replay, the Rudolph Rollers used three of their marbles to try to gain enough speed. Unfortunately though, it wasn't enough to beat the Snow Troopers. Certainly a very tight finish though, probably the tightest one we've seen so far tonight. Now moving on to our second semis match, we have Salty Scroogers versus Icy Blasters. Let's see who will be fighting Snow Troopers in the finals. They're off. And it's a tight one all the way down to the finish, but the Scrooges take the win in lane number 5. Let's look at that replay. Both teams had great teamwork in this race, as it looked like all marbles worked together to gain enough speed. And it was another tight match, but the Salty Scrooges just get the edge and will be battling Snow Troopers in the next round. Now for our third place match, we have the Rudolph Rollers versus Icy Blasters. Let's see who's going to take our third place spot. And they're off, it looks like the Icy Blasters have the win and they take it, beating the Rudolph Rollers. And looking at that replay, ooh, only two marbles were able to stay in the lead. But nonetheless, they were still able to get third place, so they'll be receiving one victory point. Certainly better than none. And folks, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Snowtroopers and Salty Scrooges will be hosting our final matchup. Let's see who will be getting first place in this event. And they're off. Salty Scrooges has the lead. Wait, no, it's the Snow Troopers. And they get the final say down in lane 5. Let's get a look at that replay again. And the Scrooges had the slight lead, but unfortunately the leader of the group held back. I don't know what happened to him there. He probably just tripped. But that gave Snow Troopers the lead in the second half of the matchup. And they were able to take the win. And there you have it folks. Snow Troopers take the top of the podium, followed by Salty Scrooges and later by Icy Blasters. And with that, Mistletoe Maniacs and Snow Troopers lead the Holiday Championship standings with three victory points. Ladies and gentlemen, we are just one day away from Old St. Nick taking flight. And we are celebrating with a thrilling pinball rally in today's episode of the Marble Holiday Championships. Today's event will be very similar to the final tournament a couple weeks back with both teams fighting for the most points. The pinball dish adds even more intensity to the races as well as the Plinko Maze. And here are the starting matches for today's tournament. We will start with Mistletoe and Scrooges and end with Nighters and Rampage. The track is all cleaned up and ready to go. Let's begin our first match with Mistletoe Maniacs versus Salty Scrooges. And they're both off down that first turn and into the first funnel. And who's it going to be? Who's going to be the first one to take the lead? It's the Scrooges making down that second turn into the second funnel. And just like that, the party has moved from Funnel 1 to Funnel 2. Still a tight one here, folks. Looks like Missile Tomaniacs has the slight edge, but no, Salty Scrooges still takes the lead into the third funnel. It's still a very tight race between the two teams. One of the Missile Tomaniacs is having trouble entering that final funnel. 
And we have Marbles already entering the pinball dish, and looks like Salty Scrooges will be taking first place. But that doesn't mean they have the win just yet. The other three Marbles have to cooperate as well. Mustle Maniacs coming in down second. And we have a Scrooge coming down, placing in third. And Mustle Maniacs takes fourth, Salty Scrooges takes fifth. And Scrooges will also take 6th place, and Mistletoe Maniacs will take the last 2 spots. And it looks like the Scrooges will be moving on with 21 points. Mistletoe Maniacs finishes with 15, and will be our first team eliminated. And here we go, not wasting any time going to match 2. We have Rudolph Rollers versus Snow Troopers. And we're already off in final number 1. It looks like Rudolph has a slight edge. No, it's Snow Troopers. Oh, but Rudolph takes it at the last second with three of their members now in the second funnel. And that gives Rudolph Rollers a good edge here. And Snow Troopers now takes the lead into funnel number two. All four Rudolph Rollers are now stuck up there. It looks like Snow Troopers now has the edge. And Snow Troopers still keeps the lead into the pinball dish. And will they get it? Yes, they do. Snow Troopers takes first place as well as second. Certainly a good start. Also taking third. They already got 21 points. I don't know what happened to Rudolph Rollers. They were on fire in final number one, but they just seem to have fallen behind. But there's one Snow Trooper still stuck up there, but I don't think it affects their victory. And Rudolph Roller's still stuck. Ooh, and it looks like both Rudolph and Snow Troopers is stuck up there. And that will result in a one-point deduction. But nonetheless, Snow Troopers still earns 20 points, well ahead of Rudolph Rollers, and will be moving on to the next round. And here we go with match number three. Superstars and Icy Blasters take the stage. And they're off down in phone number one. And neck and neck approaching the final's edge, and it's Superstars. The Superstars have been struggling in the past two events. Will they be able to get their break here? Both the leaders go neck and neck in that funnel. And no, unfortunately. Oh, Superstar still takes the lead. But that one marble was struggling in between two Icy Blasters. Now Icy Blasters takes the lead into the pinball dish. And will they be able to get this win? Ooh, and unfortunately he seems to be stuck in the pinball dish. One of the marbles will have to free him. But will he still keep this lead? And it's taken away by Superstar. No, wait. I see Blasters takes it at the last second. And Superstars comes in at a tight second. We have another tight battle in the Plinko Maze. Who is it going to be? It's Icy Blasters winning the battle again. And Superstars coming in down 5th and 6th respectively. And it looks like one of the Superstars got stuck further up. And that will result in a 1 point deduction. And Icy Blasters finishes with 21 points. And will be our 3rd team moving on. Unfortunately, Superstars will once again be eliminated. And with our final match now, we have Christmas Sniders versus Reindeer Rampage. And both teams are already duking it out in that funnel. And Reindeer Rampage looks at the edge, and yes, they do into that second funnel. All Marbles making their way down that turn now. Rampage wins the battle further up. And who's going to win it further down? It's Christmas Sniders going to that last funnel before the pinball dish. That's when things get pretty crazy. And your Rampage making a good hit on Nighters. But it looks like they still have the lead. Yes, they do into the pinball dish. Will they be able to get an opening here? And it looks like no. The marbles get stuck. But yes, they do. They still get the edge. And one of the Rampages are right on his tail, but Christmas Nighters takes it back. Reindeer Rampage was just in the slight lead, but Nighters was able to pull off the victory there. And now we have our two Rampages going down the Plinko Maze now, taking 5th and 6th respectively. And we have a one-on-one -on -one battle in the Pinball Dish. And Christmas Nighters wins it and will be taking 7th. And unfortunately, Reindeer Rampage comes in at last, earning just 1 point for the team. And Christmas Nighters gets the well-deserved win with 21 points. And once again, we have a replay of that photo finish. Certainly one of the closest races we've had this year. And here are our current standings. Only four out of eight teams remain in this tournament. Now with our first semifinal match, we have Salty Scrooges versus Snow Troopers. They're off into that first funnel. And round and around they go. It's tight between both teams and Snow Troopers takes it down into funnel number two. And three members of each team now made it down to the second funnel. Snow Troopers takes the win in that battle further up. 
At the bottom, it looks like the Scroogers have the slight edge, and yes, they do, into funnel number three. Snow Troopers, though. Oh, two Snow Troopers all getting up at that one Scrooge. The other Scrooges are certainly going to have to help him if they want to win this. And Snow Troopers takes the win. Certainly a well-planned battle there. And battling the pinball dish. And yes, Snow Troopers takes the win. Taking first place. And will also be getting second. Already having a good start with 15 points. And it looks like Salty Scrooges gets third. Almost gets beaten up by one of the Snow Troopers. And they also take fifth and will be coming down sixth as well. And Snow Troopers will be finishing with last. And let's see who's going to be moving on to the finals. And it's the Snow Troopers once again finishing with 21 points. But Salty Scrooges certainly gave them a run for their money. And now with our second and final semi-final match. We have Icy Blasters versus Christmas Snyders. And they all made it down that turn into the first funnel. Rounding around, looks like Christmas Lighters has the edge. No, it gets beaten right by Icy Blasters. And he takes the lead into the second funnel. We once again have a one-on-one -on -one battle further up, and Icy Blasters will take it. And Christmas Nighters comes in at last. But Christmas Nighters takes the lead into the third funnel. But it gets beaten by two Icy Blasters. Looks like Icy Blasters now has the slight edge. But will they be able to keep it against that lone Christmas Nighter? No! Christmas Nighter beats out both Icy Blasters. But Icy Blasters gets the lead once again down the Plinko Maze and will finish first. What a great comeback there by Icy Blasters. Ooh, but Christmas Nighters come straight at Icy Blasters and steal second place away from them. Wow, guys, what an intense finish there. We have an Icy Blaster coming down at sixth. And Christmas Nighters will be coming down at last. And I didn't realize we had another Christmas Nighter stuck further up. Certainly not good news for the team. And it looks like Icy Blasters will be moving on with 21 points. Before we find out who wins, let's see who will be winning our first victory point in this event. They'll be either Christmas Nighters or Salty Scrooges. Who's it going to be? Remember, every point counts, so even just third place is good enough. And all three Salty Scrooges making a first down to that second funnel. But one of them is still stuck further up. But he still makes a nice hit there on Christmas Nighters. Salty Scrooge is still keeping the lead to the second funnel. Christmas Nighters joining the way down as well. And we have a one-on-one -on -one down here. Will they be able to keep their lead? No, unfortunately, Christmas Nighters takes the lead into the pinball dish. Will they be able to get that victory point? And it's a one-on-one, -on -one, but Christmas Nighters had the edge there, finishing first place. I don't know what happened to the Salty Scrooges. There's three of them still stuck up there. Now two. But it's definitely not a good end to the Scrooges. And Christmas Snyder still stuck up there. Will he be able to get in? And yes, he does. Avoiding that one point deduction. All marbles up across the finish line. And it looks like Christmas Snyder's will be taking the victory point with a total of 20 points. Congratulations to the Christmas Snyder's for earning your first victory point. And now with the finals, folks, these two teams are currently leading the leaderboards. But well, who's going to be the one that takes the win? Round and round. Ooh, it's neck and neck between both teams. But Snow Troopers takes it, followed closely by Icy Blasters. Definitely not a solid lead, but a good start for sure. We have another neck and neck further down. And Icy Blasters takes the lead away from Snow Troopers into the final funnel, just before that final stretch. UIC Blasters still trying to make their way down there. Will that Snow Trooper be able to beat them? Oh, yes, he will. And further down, IC Blasters takes the easy lead and will be earning eight points for their team. Things are pretty slow here. We have three marbles stuck in the pinball dish right now. And Snow Troopers now makes his way down the Plinko Maze, finishing second. I don't know, there seems to be a jam in the pinball dish. I don't know what happened. And it seems to be freed. All five marbles making the way down that maze with a tight photo finish. And despite Icy Blasters getting that first place spot, Snow Trooper still takes the win with a total of 21 points. And there you have it, guys. Congratulations to Snow Troopers for placing in first, Icy Blasters for taking runner up, and a Christmas Nighters for placing third. And Snow Troopers now leads the Holiday Championship standings with a total of six points, with Icy Blasters coming in down second.
As we make our way into 2019, the last big challenge for 2018 is shot put. Inspired by the real Olympic event, our eight teams will get two tries to launch themselves as far as possible. Each team will get points based on where they land, rounded to the nearest whole number. Victory points are doubled, so all teams need to give it all they got to win it. First up, we got Icy Blasters making his way down. And a great hit so far, making it all the way to the end. Definitely a good start for the team, and they will score 131 points in round one. That's the highest you can score, but the second marble has to cooperate if they want to win it. And here we go, marble number two of Icy Blasters. Ooh, and compared to the first marble, he certainly falls short. And he only scores 18 points with a total of 149. I'm not sure if that'll be enough to earn the victory points of today. Next up, we got Rudolph Rollers. Another great hit, hitting the back wall hard. And moving a little bit back. Certainly another nice hit, but not as good as Icy Blasters. But nonetheless, he finishes with 117. Let's see how the second marble will do. And the second marble's now off. Hitting the fidget spinner, another hard hit, hitting the back wall. And he lands close to where the first marble landed. Consistency is key to winning in this event. And he finishes with 115 with a total of 232, easily beating out Icy Blasters. Now we have Reindeer Rampage. Going down that rampage, the spinner. Nice precision there, and so far that's the second farthest hit in this event. And Reindeer Rampage already earning 128 points for round one. Let's see how they'll do in round two. Will the second marble be able to get just as good as the first? Ooh, another great hit. Not as far as the first marble, but this will certainly rack up enough points for Reindeer Rampage. And 246 is what they get, currently placing in first for this event. Here we go folks with Salty Scrooges on the track, now our fourth team up. And he's off hitting the fidget spinner. Slow hit, also hitting the back end. Ooh, this will certainly rival Reindeer Rampage's hit. Although he doesn't beat it, he comes close with a score of 125. Now we have Salty Scrooge's second marble up. Let's see if he'll be able to keep up with the competition. Ooh, and unfortunately he falls short. Although it was better than Icy Blaster's run, it's not going to be enough to be in the top three. And only 50 points he scores with a total of 175 for Salty Scrooge's. And here we got the top team now with Snow Troopers. First marbles up, hitting the fidget spinner. Hitting the back wall. And certainly a great hit for that team. Coming in at 125. Certainly another good start, but it's always the second marble that counts more. And unfortunately, the second marbles seem to be lacking in most of the teams. Second marble's off. And certainly a great hit. Wow, the form there was amazing, not hitting the back wall. And 126 is the final score, putting them at a total of 251. And that puts them in first place. Now we got the superstars. Let's see if they'll be able to do better in this event. Ooh, that was a hard hit, but unfortunately it was a little bit too hard. Yeah, he definitely elevated there and hit the top. And that'll certainly cut a lot of distance into his score. Scoring only 14, this team is certainly under a bad start. But let's see if the second marble will be able to save the day. And they're off. And he misses the sweet spot, which is crucial for power. And unfortunately, he just didn't get that in that second run. And the second marble finishes with a disappointing 46, giving the team only 60 points, putting them in dead last. And now we have Christmas Nighters up, our seventh team. They got one victory point in our last event. Let's see if they'll be able to get another today. Great first hit there. Let's see what their final score is. And they start with 124, which seemed like the average for today's event. Let's see how the second marble will do. Second marble is always key. And he hits the spinner. Certainly had the power there and the consistency as well. And the second marble will give that team another 120 points, giving them a total of 244, which certainly puts them in the top three. 
Now we have Mistletoe Maniacs, our final team. Let's see how they do. Hitting the fidget spinner. Hitting the back wall and lands at a pretty good spot. Let's see if this will be a new record. Unfortunately, no, but 126 is still a good score. Let's see how they do in the second round. And they're released. And hits the back wall. And comes just short of 120. And they will finish with 118 with a total of 244 points concluding the event. Now let's get a look at our current standings. It looks like Christmas Nighters and Mistletoe Maniacs are tied for third place. So we're going to have to break that tie somehow. And we know we got the Gulp Pinball Racer all set up. And both marbles are off the track and they're ready to go in this tiebreaker. And rounding around that first funnel. Looks like Christmas Nighters has the slight edge. And we're just skimming it now. Who's it going to be? It's Christmas Nighters taking the lead into funnel number two. And Mistletoe Maniacs putting a nice hit there. They now battle neck and neck there. Ooh, Mistletoe Maniacs almost had it, but Christmas Nighters takes the lead into the pinball dish. They're bumping around, and Christmas Nighters takes third place and will be winning today's victory points. Good job to Mistletoe Maniacs as well. That was certainly a tight tiebreaker. And with the final results now in, Snow Troopers places first once again, earning six victory points. Reindeer Rampage coming down second, and Christmas Nighters coming in at third. And this puts Snow Troopers well in the lead with a total of 12 points, and they take home the Marble Holiday Championships Champion of 2018. The Snow Troopers gave it their all, placing in the top three 75% of the time, and I bet the coaches' hard work and motivation helped them reach this spot. Thanks to everyone who watched the Holiday Championships 2018, and we hope to see you all next year. Follow our social media down below for more m &H Racing, and if you're new, subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss a race. We'll see you all in 2019.